Hey guys, it's me, 1239 here, and in today's video, we're going to be reacting to the new Anne of Green Gables Turkish version trailer. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to say that I've been sick these last couple of days, and I posted about it on Instagram when I found out that the trailer was dropped, so that's why it's taken me a couple of days to get to this video, and I just want to thank the people that sent me well wishes because it was a bit tough, <laughs> um, especially because I'm in my last couple of weeks of university for the winter semester, and so yeah, it's been a bit rough for me this last week, but either way, thank you so much for your kind wishes. It really means a lot to me. And now without further ado, let's talk about the Turkish version, which I did promise that I would make a video about it, but now that the trailer's out, you know, we can just talk about it right now. I don't know much about Turkish culture or Anne's impact in Turkey, with the exception of the fact that I know that it is a very popular series over there, as it is in a lot of other places in the world. And here's another tough thing that I kind of want to bring up, and I want to hear what you guys think about it, especially after watching the trailer. So I got a message on Instagram from one of you guys who was basically telling me that they and a few others from Turkey don't really believe that the show will put as much effort into making it a about Anne of Green Gables as perhaps I'm really excited to see and perhaps what I'm really hoping to see because the books over there are very popular. They feel like it might be a cash grab. They might be trying to capitalize off of Anne of Green Gables' success over there. I'm gonna keep that in mind while I react to the trailer. I do still want to have like an optimistic view of it going into it because I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen the trailer. I've seen a lot of pictures actually of BTS that they've posted over the last couple of months since they started filming it. I don't really know what to expect. Is it gonna follow the book? Who knows? <laughs> Will I be upset if it doesn't closely follow the book? Of course not, because as we know, Anne with an E was not one of those versions that, you know, followed the book as close as other versions have, and that was completely okay. The show did really well, and they were able to explore topics that were not covered in the book or that were not as fleshed out as they were in the book, and I was completely open to that. I completely embraced that going into Anne with an E when I first watched the show. Not in all aspects of it, but a lot of aspects of it I really enjoyed, such as the residential school episodes, Kukwet's character, Bash's character, Cole, all of these people that weren't in the books, they were brought into the show because it was important to talk about those topics that were present in the late 1800s, and so I was completely fine with that. I'm open to this version deviating from the book as well. Of course, we have seen versions in the past that have not necessarily done a good job of depicting Anne, and I think that's the most important part about this, is her spirit. Like, Anne has a very optimistic spirit. She is a very beloved character, and I think if they mess that up, and if they mess up Gilbert, Matthew, and Marilla, those three in particular, Diana, not as much. Other adaptations haven't really done a really good job with Diana. <laughs> you can debate that Anne with an E hasn't really done a very good job with Diana, especially in the later seasons. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Diana not being, you know, as fleshed out or as good as she is in the books, which I haven't read, but <laughs> but I think if the Turkish version is going to want to bring in Anne with an E fans, which they have to, like they should, I highly recommend if they do, because a lot of people are still on that Anne high from Anne with an E. There's an Anne high apparently. There's still a existing fandom. So if they don't bring those fans in by having a good Marilla, having a good Matthew, having a good Gilbert, the show is not going to do well. Of course, Anne as well. We know that. Megan Follows, Amy Beth. Those are the most iconic Annes out there in my opinion. It's gonna be hard to top them. I think the the actress that is going to play Anne in this version has done a lot of work, so I am really looking forward to seeing what she does with Anne's character, but I really hope that they don't mess it up. <laughs> It mostly has to do with the writing, I think, if they were to mess it up. Writing and directing are so important in a story. If they aren't up to par, the actors might not understand what they're trying to do. Rachel's also an essential character. If they want to kind of do like what Anne did, which is make it more depressing. <laughs> if they want to create a world that is darker than it was in the book. They're gonna need a character that counters that tone, and what better character to do that than Rachel? Hopefully, you know, she's still a sass queen in this version. <laughs> I really hope so. She's one of my favorite characters in the show. Another thing I want to bring up, which is, are they gonna modernize it? Like, I'm excited to see that if they are. I don't think we've ever seen a film or TV show adaptation that has modernized Anne of Green Gables, except for, like, those web series that came out on YouTube, which I haven't checked out yet. I know that there are a few books out there that modernize Anne of Green Gables which I'm excited to start reviewing. 
soon. We've already seen so many adaptations of Anne, and they all take place in the time period that the book does, or around the time period. Basically, I'm excited to see how advanced technology is used in the show. Will they have cell phones? I think they have cars. I think the time period is present day, like 2022. I'm not sure. Another thing which I kind of already touched on, Gilbert and Anne's relationship. I did see a BTS picture of Gilbert, I think, chasing Anne. Not chasing Anne, like that sounds dark and stalkerish, but he does that in Anne with an E and he also does that in the PBS version, so that's a whole nother discussion, but I wonder what the relationship is going to be like. Is it going to be like that love-hate relationship? Is there going to be a slate scene? If there's no slate scene... Will I continue watching? We'll see. <laughs> I'm excited. Like, I'm so excited. I'm always excited to see a new adaptation of Anne because even that skit that I reacted to recently, I was excited just because we haven't received new content in so long. Like, I'm so deprived. I'm excited to see new interpretations of the story. We'll see if it's a cash grab. We'll see if it's good. I'm really rooting for this show. <laughs> I'm really excited to see if they're gonna bring in, like, cultural aspects. Like, they probably will. In a way, the book can be universal. It has universal universal concepts of belonging and love. I guess we should get started now. Let's react to the Anne of Green Gables Turkish version trailer. Şu ağaçlara bakın. Masal diyarı gibi. Her tonu var resmen. Okay, so they have a car. Çok güzel kokuyor. Very nice home. Merhaba Mahinur Hanım. Yani <gülüyor> kim bu küçük hanım? Oh, okay. They're definitely going with the gritty version. Oh, her name is not Anne? Wait, isn't this what Anne does in Anne with an E? Gracious me. I can milk a cow and split wood. Tam bırakın da burada kalayım, ne olur. I might have known nobody would really want me. Inspired by Anna Green Gables. Okay. Nereye gidiyorsun? Dur, küçük kelebek. Is that Gilbert? Kanıyor elim. Kasabada ne kadar çok gentleman var ya. Okay. Biz şimdi arkadaş mı olduk yani? Bence evet. Ah. Sen anlatmak ister misin bize kim? Oh my God. Okay. Here we go. Oh no, Patty. Gilbert. Okay. Aslında Metin amca evlense beni evlat edinmeleri daha kolay. Bir sevgisi falan var mı? Kim olacak? Veteriner Erke Hanım. There's a love interest for Matthew. Böyle çat kapı geldi mi ama? Dayanamazsın ki. Neresi bakayım sen? <gülüyor> Dünyalıyım. Hayır. <gülüyor> I'm from the earth. <gülüyor> Melisa'yı almaya geldi. Oh, it looks like PEI. Kind of. <gülüyor> Very much like Anthony. Ve masal böyle başlamış. Bir varmış, bir yokmuş. I have so many thoughts right now. No slate scene so far from what we've seen. Gilbert has like those, what are they called? Hard eyes. Yeah, he kind of has those hard eyes for Anne in class and when he's like helping her with her wound, I think she fell. Okay, so her name is not Anne in this version. Her name is Melissa. At least that's what it says in the subtitles. With a what? What did they say? Oh, with two S's. Okay. <laughs> is there another way to spell Melissa than with two S's? Okay, so we have Matthew who has a potential love interest. There's one thing that I'm very concerned about, like pretty concerned about, and it's pressing me right now because I feel like it might not end well. I don't know. But like from what we've seen of, you know, Sullivan having that lawsuit against Anne with a knee, I made a video about that if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it here. It concerns me because this version seems to like, like that scene where Anne <laughs> is like, I can milk the cows. I can wash the dishes and then she breaks a plate. That all seems like it comes from Anne with an E directly and not the book. I don't think that happens in the book. I've read the first book. I haven't read it in a long time. So please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that scene is coming directly from Anne with an E and that worries me. Not to say that Anne with an E would for sure want to sue the Turkish version for copying their scenes like Sullivan did. Not to say that they would necessarily do that, but if they do that, what would happen? That's a thought I had while watching this trailer that kind of concerns me because they didn't say that they were basing their show on Anne with an E, Netflix's and CBC's Anne with an E. They said they were basing their show on Lucy Ma Montgomery's Anne of Green Gables, which is a whole different thing. In a way, it's a whole different thing because Sullivan was able to sue Anne with an E, even though they are both based off of the same book, but they have their differences. And also like this version has a darker side like Anne with an E. We see a bit of Melissa's backstory and where she comes from and the abuse and the trauma that she comes from that might mirror Anne with an E's Anne and her flashbacks that we see throughout the first season 
and second season. I have a concern with that, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that. I think Gilbert's good. I think we're going to be okay with Gilbert in the show. I love Anne. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna call her Anne a lot, I think, but I know her name's not Anne. It's Melissa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Melissa's expressive voice, because like Anne has a very expressive voice. We've seen that with Amy Beth's Anne. And so I love her like expressive voice. I think it's really nice because she's supposed to be like enthusiastic when she's talking about nature. I like it. Marilla, I don't think we've seen enough of Marilla to really judge her. I think the really nice thing about Anne with an E is that it fleshed out characters that were in the book that didn't really have that much fleshing out, such as with Marilla. Like there were things in the book where we kind of like see her become softer towards Anne. I don't think we got like a backstory about Marilla in the book, in the first book at least. And so Anne with an E was able to flesh out Marilla's character and we see how her own trauma has hardened her over the years. I wonder if we're going to get that maybe similar backstory to Marilla in this version or if we're going to get something different. Love to see something different just in case, you know. I don't think we got like the typical Anne accidentally getting picked up by Matthew at the train station. Not accidentally getting picked up, but like he had to take her because they didn't bring him a boy. I think he just kind of like adopted her. Was that what I saw? Would you like to come to our house? Yeah, that's what we got. So we got Matthew kind of like seeing her and then being like, do you want to live with us? Because you're living in a very toxic environment. That doesn't happen in the book. I like that change. We did get like that, you know, classic scene where and Melissa and when she's first introduced to Green Gables and she's like oh my god like this is beautiful and everything but we get her in a car. It is more modern. It still takes place in like this rural PEIS location. I'm excited to see like the cinematography Melissa being in the landscape shots. Okay let's talk about Diana a bit. I like Diana. <laughs> That's all I can really say. We haven't really gotten that much of her. I wonder if we'll also get stuff about her as well like about her mother. Will her mother be opposed to her and Melissa getting along and all that? that stuff. This show is actually called The Girl of the Green Valley, so it's not like Anne of Green Gables, you know? It's The Girl of Green Valley. Overall, I think it's still early to tell if this is going to be a cash grab show, if it's going to be a bad show. I just want to be optimistic that this is going to be a good show and that we'll have something to talk about every week. If they're going to come out weekly, I hope they do. It would be nice to have that to look forward to every week. Also, did we get a release date? I don't think we did. If you know the release date, if I completely missed that, please let me know. I have talked a lot, but but I've really enjoyed talking about this and I hope this makes up for me not making a video on this topic sooner. I think we've dealt into a lot of the things that I wanted to say. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this adaptation. It's an adaptation which is really different from calling it a remake because I don't think it's trying to be a remake. I don't think it's going to be completely loyal to the source material because what other show or movie has? Are you guys excited to see a Turkish version adaptation of Anne of Green Gables? I'm also like so happy that they added subtitles. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want. We're so so close to 15,000 subscribers and it would be awesome to reach that by the time that my seventh anniversary of being on YouTube comes around which is in May. Thank you so much Sarasa for becoming a channel member. I'll see you guys in a new video. Bye!